Hello. It's Noir Nerd. I'm doing another constant log vlog video. And this time I thought I'd talk a bit about a question I get commonly asked because uh, I'm a painter, fine artist, and a programmer, developer. And this, uh, I think can confuse people sometimes. I'm just uh, wandering around the cold streets of Moscow, wintertime Moscow. It's very snowy. But during the day this time, so we don't really see him anymore. But yeah, anyway. So I think uh, people often find someone being a developer and being uh, artist. In my case, painted primarily. Quite a strange mix of disciplines to be interested in. I don't really think it's so. But I've certainly encountered a few people out in the wild who found it very strange that uh, I'm interested in both those things at quite a deep level and kind of practicing both those things. They are both primarily about problem solving, painting. You wanted to express yourself with paint and translate that feeling or emotion or whatever it is you're trying to communicate into a visual medium. With programming, generally it's a business requirement that you're converting into a solution. We're not always business orientated, it could be anything. You're basically writing to create uh, something visual happening on screen, some output, yada yada. So I think uh, there's probably, I guess, more front-end developers who are interested in sort of illustration and painting and stuff, but that's just a presumption. It's probably not true in every case, because front-end coding is obviously more focused on user interface, user experience, psychology of the user, uh, but it's more focused on what the user sees. So I'd make an assumption that there's more front-end developers who might be interested in art, as in visual arts. Uh, I actually was sort of into programming and computers before I was into art to be honest, though I'd say that much, so I was interested in computers from about the age of, I guess, 12 or 13, uh, and started building with them, not necessarily programming, but I really started off in level design software, like build engine was one I remember working with distinctly. The first program I actually ever did was I never went to Nice, which is had a scripting engine I think based on C sharp. So it would have been the first exposure to programming programming. But I had my hand to get very really cold. Uh, and yeah. And then uh, I sort of only got really got into art when I was about 19 or I think yeah, about 18, 19 years old. So just drawing and doodling, I started getting to drawing and doodling a lot more. Just the whole experience of drawing started to become more interesting to me. But yeah, uh, what are your thoughts? If you're a developer also who's got an interest in art and painting, do you ever find that other people find it quite a strange combination of interests? I think probably the reason people often do find it strange is because they assume you're just going to be like a logic uh, buff or just, you know, like really left brained into programming. Not really necessarily into so called right brain creative thinking, I guess, is why people find it strange sometimes. But I don't know, I mean, that's sort of a very binary way of looking at the whole thing. Like, Obviously, painting has a degree of logic and order in it. It's not just like chaotic uh, chaos that you want to represent. You want to, composition-wise, you've got to get something that looks coherent, which requires skill and craft. Just as with programming, if you're going to get a certain architecture in place, you need to know what you're doing. You need to... So, yeah, I don't know. I'm sort of yabbering now. So I do mean it was five minutes. This me log vlog in deepest, darkest, coldest Russian. My hands are almost falling off. I mean, I should have taken gloves out, actually. And I'm also wearing shorts for some stupid reason. But yeah, anyway. 
I'm going to keep it at that. Goodbye, like and subscribe if you're one of my vlogs from wandering around. Usually I do tutorials and period reviews. But I decided to do a video series now. I just wander around Moscow chatting. Anyway.